Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defence Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defence sector. The DEW or direct energy weapon is based on laser beams, microwaves and similar high focused energy sources. These weapons disables and completely blinds the ele enemy's electronic system in missiles, fighter aircraft, warship, drones and even satellites making them completely useless. There are several advantages of using direct energy weapon over conventional ammunition. First, they transmit lethal force at a speed of light about 300,000 km per second. Second, their beams are unaffected by constraining effects of gravity or atmospheric drag. Third, they are extremely precise. Fourth, their effects can be tailored by varying the type and intensity of energy supplied to the targets. The direct energy weapons are already in use in the role of drone defense systems. In such systems, laser beams are used to knock out the parts of drones which are now an integral part of military arsenal for most of the countries. However, their potential goes beyond the ability to destroy enemy targets and different vital infrastructure from air and missile attacks. According to some unofficial sources, India has also used similar direct energy weapon technology in Operation Whitewash which was a top secret mission. India has used Kali Kilo Ampere Linear Injector in this mission as a direct energy weapon. There is very less information available on Kali, however, it is speculated to emit 40 gigawatts of energy waves in just 100 milliseconds. For the ease of your understanding, 40 gigawatts is equal to 52 million horsepower. India has been working extensively in this area for past 3 to 4 years to develop 10 kW and 20 kW DUs. In August 2017, DRDO reported to test a 1 kW laser weapon at Chitardurga in Karnataka. Last year, in February, when US President Donald Trump visited India, DRDO has used a laser powered anti drone system to neutralize any drone threat. The second edition of India's Technology Perspective and Capability Roadmap, released in 2018 by Ministry of Defense, previewed more than 200 pieces of equipment for induction in Indian military in late 2020s. Among the list of projects that industry has encouraged to pursue was a tactical high energy laser system for Army and Air Force. The Ministry foresaw a high mobility vehicle based laser weapon system able to cause physical damage or destruction to electronic warfare systems, communication systems and non-communication systems or radars and their antennas. Eventually, the weapon should reach a minimum range of 20 km, have a target locking capability and be able to serve in an anti-satellite role from land and air based platforms. The Jan 1st, 2021 news release said an anti-drone system was made by DRDO and deployed for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's security as he addressed the nation for its 74th Independence Day. It can bring down micro-drones through either jamming of command and control links or by damaging the drones through laser-based direct energy weapons. The DRDO is currently requesting for $100 million from Ministry of Defense from 2021 and 2022 budget to produce high power laser weapon. The classified project dubbed Durga 2 will see Indian Army receive the 100 kilowatt lightweight direct energy systems. As per some senior DRDO scientists, Durga 2 program is currently in the concept stage. DRDO is developing and improving various laser generation techniques using solid state, fiber, and chemical laser for defensive and offensive use. Durga 2 is to be integrated with land, sea and air based platforms. Around 50 defense scientists have been charged with developing new direct energy weapons. The DRDO is also aiming to start working on non-nuclear electromagnetic pulse technology. DRDO's laboratories engaged in the development of direct energy weapon include the Laser Science and Technology Center, the Defense Electronic Research Laboratory, the Defense Research and Development Laboratory and the Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences. The Laser Science and Technology Center is the lead laboratory in this effort and it is currently engaged in the development of multiple laser technologies using 
chemical oxygen iodine lasers high power fiber lasers the center has also formed a 25 kilowatt laser that can target a ballistic missiles during its terminal phase at a maximum distance of 5 kilometers in addition DRDU established a firing range at its terminal ballistic research laboratory at Ramgarh in Haryana state new delhi this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector